I always had a good childhood. A very, very good father and a very, very good mother. Yeah. Thank God for the lovely family. My name is uh, Bridget McCann, I'm a traveller. We've come here today on a day out with the children, all mothers and toddlers, and we're just looking around. It's a very old fashioned place where we are. Yeah, many of the time we pull through here with caravans as well, and we pulled all through the north of Ireland, travelled every bit of it, because we're more or less bases. We're like this is sort of like our home, the north of Ireland. Travellers now, at that time, we'd be constant travelling. We'd be not a man, because it, it, it has to go, but it, that's the way of life. We'd go from one end of it to the other end. It didn't make any difference where we'd pull in, because we, we wasn't into anything. It's all the same, what religions are, what colour, uh, whatever you are. It's, it's make no difference to us. Some could maybe welcome travellers, be very friendly, come down around, play with children, you know, like the other children of the community and that when we were children. And then we could go maybe down the road, we could go into a very bad, very discriminating against travellers. They wouldn't give you water, because they'd say if they give you, we would go around with cans, collecting water for cooking or washing or whatever. And uh, if you ask them for water, if one refused to get the whole lot then to say, don't give them water. Because if you give water, you're going to have them here for weeks or maybe whatever, if they want rid of you. But then it'd make no difference, because we'd go to the graveyards. There's always fresh water with taps in the graveyard, so we wouldn't be refused. Like from, we know that we can get some there. You just say, uh, I tell you, if you're following the trail, if you don't keep up with it, you'll be lost, because you don't know where you're going to get stopped. Because you could say, well, we pick out at such a place, and you could go there, and it could be sealed off. You know what I mean? So you're just, you're more or less, you're on a, on a trail. You have to follow. How did it communicate with by sods of grass? If they're going to turn left, it put a sod of grass. If they're going to two two lefts, it put a small one and a big one. Yeah, but we're often talking now with my older family, you know, like my own children. We're often now asking me questions, not like we're all a big grown up family now. They often ask me you now about different things. And maybe ask about my father and mother's time, you know, like when they had the horse drawn wagons and the ox. Well, the survival for them was worse for us in my time. Because they they wouldn't they had no they had no uh, there was no no niceness for them at all. Like they earned their living. It's like survival they call it. They could go maybe you could go maybe for a long time, maybe get nothing and then maybe get a some if they, if they think that they can earn something there. Because it's all go. It wasn't we could, we didn't get any social security or anything like that uh, years ago because there, there, there was no permanent address. And he wouldn't be there long enough anyway, so you had to survive. So you'd have to go through the houses selling pegs or flowers or whatever, you know what I mean, bits of lace or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then the men would be looking for maybe scrap or whatever they can get. So that's the way, it's like a recycled thing as well. If you don't get the price you're shopping or whatever your means, what you need, there's no point in being there. You'll have to make a move, fresh start again. If something really bad happened in Travers, you'd have to send a, a telegram to the town so someone that know if there's travellers in the area to pass a message. Or if, if they wanted to be keep in contact with their family, maybe that's moved away or whatever. Far different country, like say England or Scotland or what. Well, they'd always have a base for a post office. Pick out one part of a, say one town in particular, that'll be near, you know, like, like connection. And that's the only way they'd have. But then post the postmistress or postmaster, if they got a letter, well, he's going to read it for them because they weren't educated. And then he's going to answer it as well. <laughs> so they, they wouldn't have any privacy things. It'd be a lot of things maybe they wouldn't want to, whatever. But still, that's the, the connection now that they have in keeping contact with each other. People wouldn't want you. We were, I, I, I'd love if I'd have been well educated. I, 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 I know I'd have done something with my life. I never got educated because when we were younger, my mother often tried to get us into schools. We come from a very big family, and she always wanted like, to learn how to read. 
because yeah. her father could read. And uh, so then what happened, uh, we brought to schools maybe four or five children. Sorry, no, we're not taking all that lot in. Sorry, we'll take one. They couldn't take one and let the rest out. You know, like, um, if you'd always had an excuse for the refusion. Like, that was it. In other ways, they didn't want you there, case did her school teach children be pulled out of school with their parents because traveling children are going. But we were always uh, learned to be, like, to be... Uh, polite, very polite. Be, be very polite. Not, not to be cheeky or, if you, like, if you're, if you're in a town, because if they're going to do some good in it, they don't want you to be, you know what I mean? You wouldn't be allowed to run a wild or no. doing harm, as you call it, in around maybe nine people. We weren't allowed to we do that. We don't judge no one, darling. We, we never don't like anyone to judge us. Mm. It's just, just, as equal as anyone just equal as anyone, and just wanted just to carry on with their life, and that was it. And just do normal things, same as anyone. We'd survive more than, like a country person said, at that time. You know what I mean? But you know how to feed yourself. If you, if you, if you wasn't at a shop, you can go and get your food. If you're staying in the woods or forests or wherever, or if you're near fish, you get fish or the rivers and whatever. So there's a ways, you know what I mean? It learned a lot of ways. You knew how to put chemicals in plants. If a child got a cut to stop the bleeding, or if, if they had a rash, they know exactly what plants to use and all oh, things like that. That's all nearly, what like don't do it. We all different types. You know, when I was a child, anyway, myself. You know, like say different things for different. They'd know, uh, like, butch ones. We'd know what, some wild plants you couldn't eat. You know, like you couldn't mix or, there'd be some mushrooms, as everyone knows, you couldn't, we know what kind, not to. And, and, that, and we, 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 we learned that from a very young age. No, no. Or you know mint grass. You'd love the mint, because that's like chunkum when you're staying out in the country. I mean, it's sugar. Yeah, you'd cut it all up like powders yeah. and put a bit of sugar. Well, that's like, a, that's so sweet, isn't yeah, it? Mint it was. sweet. Mint sweets. Things like that.